Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Salt and Sanctuary. Um. Oh yeah, before I get in here, somebody left me some nice comments. Uh, Seed Hearth Shiva left me some comments about what I was up to. Uh, they suggest that I should use my stone idol some more, which is you know probably fair. Uh, they said I may have such a bomb nice. Um oh, right, I remember where I'm going. They said I may be having more difficulty with these platforming because of my heavy armor. Which is fair. But uh I don't know about that, you know? I feel like I should be able to play the game in the way that I want to. Why do you have salt? And he also said that I can uh, help the scarring mechanic. Seriously, why do you have my salt? I don't think I died to you. Am I just forgetting? Things have so much health with salt on. Oh! Kraken gloves. Cool. This is my first time being up here. Okay. I would have thought that that would have been a boss up there. But yes, they said that I can uh, help limit the amount of... Uh-oh. Oh, good. Amount of, like, um, damage I, I take with uh, cleric spells. So maybe I'll spec into cleric spells. But they said I might be having trouble with platforming because of all my armor. I mean, strictly speaking because of the weight that I have, but you know. But I like playing with heavy armor. I feel like I should be able to, you know? Be gone with you. So can I go up to the top of this now? I feel like that's what I moved. Damn it. Oh, and I was recommended specifically to uh, activate a stone alchemist. Okay. 
Oh, yes, I was also advised that uh, the smaller sanctuaries, which are indeed called shrines, are typically near big ones, or uh, are near bosses. Still nothing, huh? Dude, not cool. So, hmm. What exactly is over here? I kind of want to have an honest fight on that guy. Okay, I'm doing seven damage to his shield instead of four. Oh, I didn't know I could... Alchemist set, huh? Dude. Like, I know that I am wearing heavy armor, and maybe it is more realistic, but I don't really play games for realism, especially, like, games like this. And I feel like I should be able to complete the game no matter what my current, like, attributes may be. Well, um, I made progress, but I'm now stumped. But yeah, I'm a fervent believer of, like, even if I am wearing heavy armor, I feel like I should still be able to do platforming. Like, maybe it's just my movement that the heavy armor penalizes. And, like, you know, it's not my jumping that it's doing that to. I just did that on accident. That was cool. Right, right. You guys, you guys. I remember you. All right. I navigated back here. I'm going to try one of these stone alchemists. Showing old metal? Alchemy was a dead art, but somehow this island breathes new life into it. I can only transform things, but with the right alchemical ingredients. Oh, you're a boss soul guy, aren't you? Maybe? Arming sword. Tachi. Caltic razor. Oh, these are all things that I have. Okay, well, I'm not really using this pitchfork. I can make it into a trident. A breech pike. Kumosatsuma. Okay, well, what about a... Um, Spatha. 
can make it into a Tachi. A Shike Maru. And a Virulian Scimitar. What about that Scimitar? Oh, you can just turn it from thing to thing. I see. Huh. Well, that's cool and all, but I have no real reason to do that. I'm very happy with my sword. Where's the... Is it this? Are these the smallest ones? All right, now what exactly was I doing? I think I was moving up this way. Yeah. I'll just grab that. I'll be honest, that's like, not even funny. Like, that's just bothersome. I've made reference to how, like, I, I know that I should just wear lighter armor, and I won't have to worry about it. Ugh, God. But you know what? I shouldn't even have to worry about it. Yeah, whatever, I don't care. Just kill me. Just, this is stupid. <laughs> this is stupid. This area sucks, man. I'll be honest. I feel like there's a lot more, because... I know that a lot of, most people would probably say that Hollow Knight is the better Souls-like. But I actually prefer this game... Because you get more variety and diversity in a build. I'm trying to use the block and it's just screwing me up. Use one of those. I got a million of them, whatever. What is that noise? Is that the boss? <laughs> That's so stupid. It's just a big fart class, fart gas cloud. Like, it has a bunch of mouths and teeth. But other than that, that's about it. This is it? <laughs> Like, unless it whips out a truly insane, crazy, cool second form, like. Okay, okay. You're not nothing. That attacks a pretty big whammy. That stench most foul is what this thing is. They just made a fart, like, a fart gas cloud as a boss with a bunch of mouths and hands. <laughs> Like, is that stupid? It might be. I feel like the boss didn't, like, wasn't at risk of poisoning me. Come on. 
Just let me on it. I don't mean to complain about every little thing, but like, I feel like the slats on that are so far spaced out. Like, what if, what if I just came in here and I saw the boss and it just said, uh-oh, stinky. It's dropping things. Endless fangs. Should back off and heal at some point. Oh, and he's got moves, too, such as they are. Vaguely reminiscent of my hole is a mouth of dirt, which was a scary, uh, I mean, sort of scary game that I played, uh, Halloween 2021. God, that feels eons ago by now. Is this boss supposed to be humorous? <laughs> Really, I mean... <laughs> Maybe it's a little better because it's that stench most foul and not the stench most foul. Just, just a little silly, don't you think? Was no one like, is this too much? Is this too stupid? Because I am. I'm like, this is too stupid. I know not every Dark Souls boss is like a super dramatic mega super guy. But I don't think like... <sighs> I guess Demon of Song kind of sucks. For God's sakes, it's a giant sentient, like, fart gas cloud. <laughs> Look, the game is still good. I'm not going to sit here and say that it's not still good. But, like, come on. <laughs> Maybe I should be going the other way. No, whatever. I can kill these in one, that's good. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I've got a lot of gold. I should try to spend that somehow. Okay. Mossy ring. What is that? Increases. Oh, it's the gra it's a chloranthi ring. Is that all that's down here? All right, there's more in here. I am to take this thing down. Maybe? I don't actually know what this is. I feel like it's the same as the other one, but it looks different. Oh, yeah. Hey, stranger. You're like me, aren't you? You hunt monsters for their salt, too. Yeah, I do. That's what I thought. My hunt led me to this mire. Through that cave is a block passage. Recognize the barrier. It's called Redshift. It's a brand that allows it to cut through Redshift with torchlight. It's guarded by us blood brows, but these are extenuating circumstances. Do you like the brand? Well, yes, I would. Your hand, please. Are these all going on the same hand? Because I feel like my hand's getting a little cramped. See with the eyes of a hunter. We curated Redshift Barriers ages ago to possess to contain beasts where hundreds of nightmare beastly thralls possess animals' demonic spirits. We sometimes capture them to be held in prisons of Redshift. This island is full of redshift barriers, but I didn't place them. I don't know how to build redshift. I don't think anyone else does anymore. That secret died generations ago. But I didn't draw so many people from so many places and times. Fell on Bloodbrow must have been here from centuries ago. Interesting. So I actually need a torch. Whoa. Secret right. What the hell? Am I gonna need blue shift there? I'm not gonna drop into a pit. Just in case. But this looks like the first area again. But maybe it isn't. Fort beyond the mire. Pardon me, I have much salt and I would like a sanctuary. Bowman's Waraji Suisaga. Pardon me, sir. Pardon me. Well, everyone seems pretty slow, at least. Ooh, bottle. No, it went away. Damn. I thought that was a wall there. Well, huh. This is a little unexpected. Yes, yes, yes. My people are here. Need some smithing? Thank you. Is there an item box equivalent? I haven't seen one. I don't necessarily just want to like burn everything and sell it all, but like I kind of want to get stuff out of my inventory.
Defender's Ring, huh? Creature defense to strike attacks. Wow, that is fast. <laughs> I like it. Okay, cool. So we've got an area to explore. Pardon me, sirs. How many are the... It's so dark I can barely see how many of them there's supposed to be. So is this the... Huh? Says this note. Saf safe passage around the bay. Do we venture east? Uh, sure. Oh, I guess that's the boatman's gear that I have. Um, the train of thought that I did not finish earlier was that I like how this game is very, very customizable and I can do a lot of cool things. The far beach. Have I been here? I feel like I might have been here. It doesn't matter. What I'm going to do is instead go back. Woman, friendly friend. Pray and proceed, friend. I desire your fiscal body. Maybe there's an NPC here if you're a cleric or something. Uh, yep. Yeah, I'm going to finish out whatever is over at the, the thing, and then we're going to just see what happens over there. Uh-huh. Kind of a swerve. I mean, I don't think this counts as a fast travel. Anyway, I prefer this game's uh, uh, amount of customization. But I do say that I dislike how I uh, cannot effectively play the game with my chosen play style. <laughs> really, dude? I mean, I guess I am fighting a, a dude on horseback with my sword. This is just offensive whoa that's that's new oh I think I fought one of you before Sorry, focusing in. With that spear and shield, he can out-defend me like no problem. That guy is for real. He's got an honest hustle. Okay, I was up here. All right, let's drop some pearls in then. Just give me more strength. That's all I need. It's not the only way to play, but it is the best way to play. So I feel like I didn't finish exploring out this area. Hmm. I wonder if uh, that thing's health 
or anything changes during the course of the game. Because I feel like in something like, um, I guess this is just a transitory area. Kind of interesting. Because in, for example, Hollow Knight, where is Scary Creature? Uh, in Hollow Knight, you have um, you have your shade, you know, your blood stain, but it's a thing that attacks you, and uh, its health will increase as your health goes up. And the more stuff that you have on you, the more powerful it, like the shade itself, can get. So it looks like I have another one of these split paths here. Okay, cool. So left out of here, I get another one. That's to be expected. Damn it, I need to remember that dying isn't free in this game. It can be free in some games, but... I always lose gold, a la Borderlands. But again, I don't really need the gold, so whatever. So I saw a ladder down there, and maybe I can steer myself into that ladder and get something for it. Like, maybe I can hang off the ladder. Because I, I feel like... A, well, now that is a name. Ziggurat of Dust. the fourth area I'm in this episode. The third new one. Pardon me. Their shrine. Is there not a thing for sanctuary, man? So let's see what's up here then. A long walk. Oh, the ziggurat of dust is a, a ziggurat is a type of pyramid. Well, it's a similar design to a pyramid, but it's its own thing. But anyway, it's basically a pyramid. Bag of earth. That guy is so aggressive. I'm just continually drinking on him. Okay, he's not immortal, though, which is good. Oh. Anyway, yeah, a ziggurat is a type of pyramid, as you can see. Uh, they're really cool. It's also the name of a roguelike that I played once for the channel. If you haven't seen my show, Friday Night Roguelikes, I play a roguelike. Every Friday, whenever I'm in season. But anyway, yeah, I guess the ziggurat of dust is like a regular ziggurat that's covered in dust. And the whole area is inside, but a lot of it is underground. This is really long. The more I do this, the more I feel like it's not going to be worth it. Because I'm going to have to do this exact thing on the other way down. Ashen eff effigy. Well, I have a way into it. How to get up? Okay. It's in here then. What in the? Oh, it's like an anglerfish. It's a man with a a lamp for a head. Sorry, the way that thing moved was really weird.
I hear water. Blood brow gear. I guess that confirms that we have had a blood brow here. Besides her, of course. Good trade. The Ruined Temple. Another new area. Huh. What is that? Uh, I'm in trouble. Gray Pearl, interesting. Hmm. <clears throat> now that is a ranged attack. No, please. Ugh, scary. Okay. That wasn't... Huh. That wasn't stock-free... Or, uh, uh, stock sound, like, free novelty pot-breaking sound. It was like a real ass pot noise. Treasure here. Wait, am I in this area again? Dome of the Forgotten. Yeah, I, I was over here. This is where I found that mimic, I think. Yeah, I was over here. And I looked at that platforming and I said, go to hell. More smoke there. So maybe I need blue shift to stand on that. And again, there's another big climbing thing. And then this is that area. I don't actually really need to go in here. I'm just exploring just to like try to flesh it out in my brain. Actually, I could probably just cut the episode here. Um, Wow, so we found a couple of areas. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep heading. Yeah, and this is the other side of the Red Hall of Cages. Because after we finished with it, we were like, do we go down and go that way, or do we go that and go that way? And so if we went that way, we would have eventually run into the, the roadblocks with the red light. But now that we went the other way, we, like, I guess, went that way. We went the correct way. Uh... So, wow. 
Cool. Um, that'll do it for this episode, then. Thank you all for coming. I'm glad I uh, succeeded and prevailed. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. This has been Salt and Sanctuary. I've been Alfred. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you. <laughs>